Hey y'all, it's me and Stay Grow Herbal Tea Rinse for hair loss from My Natural My Choice. If you are interested in learning how you can make an herbal tea rinse for your hair, and you can also make a growth oil for your hair with these tea bags, please stay tuned. So a couple of months ago, Evelyn from My Natural My Choice came out with her Stay Grow Herbal Tea Rinse for Hair Loss. And these are tea bags. She actually has 10 different herbs inside of each tea bag. And look how big the tea bags are. Let me just show you. This is the size of her tea bags. That is very, very large. And this tea bag makes enough tea rinse for your hair that you can use every week. Or in this instance, I'm going to make a tea rinse. And so that's why I have all of the water and things like that over here. But I'm also going to use the second tea bag for oil because in each of these bags that she hand makes herself has two tea bags. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well go ahead and make a spritz for my hair and also make an oil for my hair. So that's why I have all of these products out right now. On the directions, it says that you can put the tea rinse in your hair and rinse it out, but you can also leave it in if you would like. And that's going to be the option that I'm going to choose. I choose to leave it in. Let's go ahead and make the tea rinse first. For the tea rinse, you're going to need some distilled water and I've already boiled the distilled water, so I have that here. You're gonna need a mason jar. You're also gonna need some type of a spray bottle to put your spritz in. I had an old bottle of the Nettle Scout tonic and I just saved it. I was hoping to use one of those uh, new Fangle special edition spritz bottle that my natural my choice has but i did not get one but that's all right that's all right we can still use this and i really like this bottle because it is an amber color and of course you see a lot on youtube that says that it's best to keep your spritzes and keep your oils in dark colored bottles so we're going to make this bottle work anyway let me just tell you what's inside this tea bag this tea bag has 10 different herbs that will help fight dandruff, stimulate growth, penetrate the hair follicles, and protect your scalp from bacteria, fungus, and sun damage. So you have butterfly pea, caladula flowers, chamomile, elderflowers, methy leaf. We all know what methy leaf is. That's fenugreek, horsetail, red rashi mushrooms, sage leaf saw pimento and vitiver root all of those are good regarding hair growth maintaining scalp health making sure that your scalp stays clean when you're wearing protective styles i am so excited to use this tea so i'm just going to go ahead and put this big old tea bag in this mason jar and fill it up And we will let that sit overnight. So I'm already done. That's, it's just that simple. That's all you have to do, literally, is put that tea bag in there, put the hot water in there, make sure it's distilled water, and the Stay Grow Herbal Tea Rinse will be ready in 24 hours. Now let's go ahead and look at the oil concoction that I'm gonna make today. We're gonna use one of the tea bags. My Natural My Choice has her extra strength nettle hair growth oil. I love the scent of this. So I wanna use that. And I just have like a little bit left in this bottle. So I wanna use that. She also has her pure nettle hot oil treatment. It's just pure nettle oil. So I love that. 
and I have a little bit left in this bottle. So I wanna use those two oils in with this growth oil that I'm going to make. There's so much research regarding castor oil. So I do have a little bit of castor oil left. This is from Natural. And I'm trying to get rid of a lot of the oils that I have before they go bad. So that's why I wanna go ahead and use this. Because putting castor oil and jojoba oil together is supposed to be a one-two punch when it comes to getting your hair to grow, stay strong, shiny, manageability, all of those good things that I want with my hair. I also thought I'd put some penetrating oils in. So just a little bit of pure avocado oil will go into the mixture and some organic extra virgin olive oil. This oil also has some really good growth properties in it as well. I'm going to add some hot water to the crock pot. I'm playing chemist right now. So let's go ahead and put a different tea bag in. We have the one that's sitting in the hot water. This one's gonna be for the oil. I'm gonna go ahead and use the entire bottle of the extra strength nettle hair growth oil. Pour this one in there as well. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> I just poured the whole bottle of the one that was already open. Pure nettle oil. This smells pretty good too. So that was Jamaican black castor oil from Natural Club. And the scent is orange scent. We all know that jojoba oil is the closest oil to sebum. Put that in there. Put some penetrating oils in because I'm gonna use this for my pre-poos too. This is avocado oil. And a tablespoon of organic extra virgin olive oil. Probably should have put the oils in first and then put the tea bag in. But that's all right though. We're, we're learning together, everybody. We're learning together. All right, so I just put the oil in the crock pot and I'm just gonna let it sit. I'll just let that sit on low. I don't know how long I'm gonna do it, but I just want it to get nice and warm. So I'll be back tomorrow, and we can see what the tea and the oil looks like. Put it in the spray bottle. I have a funnel right here that we can use, and then we can put some of the oil in this bottle. This was from Yaya Creations. I saved one of her bottles. And uh, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow. All right, it is the next day. I use this to stir the oil and I use this to stir the tea. And then before bedtime, I took the oil out of the crock pot and I put the tea inside of the crock pot and I just turned the crock pot off. So the tea just sat in the warm water of the crock pot. Let's do the tea first. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells really good. Look how dark it is. I also want to check the pH. So let's see. I want all that goodness. Just squeeze it gently. You probably 
can't drink it, but it smells good enough to drink. Yeah, this is a five. I would rather be closer to a four than a five. I'm gonna put a small amount of the aloe vera juice. So five tablespoons of aloe vera, two teaspoons of aloe vera, and a quarter of a teaspoon of aloe vera. And I like that. It gets me down closer to four. It did go down some, but not where I would like it to be. But you can see the difference right there. Yeah, it went down. We're down, we're getting to the four. So yeah, I'm okay with this. This is, it's not the five, but it's not the four. So maybe like a 4.7. I would say it's a 4.7. I'm good with that. I Let's go ahead and Pour it in, pour it in here. And now you have your spritz. So although I have a preservative in it, and although the aloe vera also has a preservative in it, I'm still gonna put it in the refrigerator so it can be nice and cold. Put this in the refrigerator as well. I was gonna write the name and put it on here. I'm not gonna do all of that. I know what it is. Hopefully my children don't try to drink it and think it's some iced tea. This smells really good too. A lot of good mixtures of oils went into this. This smells really good. Try to squeeze out the oils the best that I can. Put the leftover in the nettle bottle. This has such good ingredients in it. I am so confident that this is going to continue to help me retain length. I like oiling my scalp too. I think a lot of people don't oil their scalps. But I do. So I just want to show you again the oil that I made from the Stay Grow Herbal Tea Rinse from My Natural My Choice. Again, you can make it with water or you can make it with oil like I did and I'm going to use this as my growth oil for this should last me because this this is a good amount I've got it's a half a bottle at least here and plus this bottle I'm quite confident that my hair will continue to get thicker and continue to retain length because the other products from my natural my choice works and my hair really does like the Ayurvedic herbs. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Please don't forget to stop by My Natural My Choices Etsy channel and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. Bye.